Dear fellow citizen, a few more concrete examples of just how dirty your media is, even though it goes without saying. Of course, most people still believe everything they read in the newspapers every single day. They say they don't, but they do. Here's a guy, Paul Newell, a, a newbie running for assembly in New York. Now, check this out. Most people wouldn't pick this up. He was endorsed by the New York Times and the New York Post. Whoa. You mean two papers with allegedly, supposedly, completely ideological opposition to each other, one supposedly is liberal, one is supposedly conservative, endorsed the same candidate. So is he really conservative, New York Post, or is he really liberal, New York Times? Neither, because the New York Times are fake liberals, the New York Post, fake conservatives. When the New York Times and the New York Post are endorsing the same candidate, that's the time to start arresting journalists and to start regulating these criminals, the CIA run criminals. Oh, by the way, there are so many juicy details that I forget to give you 90% of them because I try to keep these things brief. And if I gave you half the details, it'd be nine hour lectures. Uh, the Paul Newell thing is interesting. Um, why would the Vo uh, why would the Post and the uh, the Daily News, I mean the New York Times, endorse the same candidate if they have opposing political ideologies? Never mind that they don't. But here's why: Paul Newell was running against an established incumbent named Shelley Silver. By strange coincidence, Shelley Silver is the only politician in New York State with the guts, and he had enough power they didn't have to worry to stand up to a criminal named Mike Bloomberg. Everyone else caved for the emperor with no clothes. Everyone else did whatever Hitler said. Shelley Silver was the only one who stood up to him and stopped some of the biggest crimes in New York City history. The Jet Stadium, look it up. Uh, the congestion pricing scam, look it up. She so the New York Post and the Daily News, I mean the New York Times, both of them who got hundreds of millions of dollars from Mike Bloomberg, by strange coincidence, decided to try and do everything they could to stop Shelley Silver. They failed, thank goodness. But that's why they both endorsed Paul Newell, who had no record. He was a newbie. He was actually a fake candidate. Because the New York Times and the New York Post are the same paper. Your media all works for the CIA. Come on, people. It's 2008, and everyone still believes all the shit and myths you hear. Remember, government is corrupt almost always. Private business is corrupt almost always. And sad to say, human beings are corrupt almost always. Hmm, this is curious. This is unbelievably scandalous. This one newspaper cover is enough to arrest a lot of politicians and a lot of journalists. AM New York, a spinoff of Newsday, a corrupt paper that endorsed Mike Bloomberg and wrote thousands of false stories about Mayor Mike Bloomberg, one of the most corrupt politicians in U.S. history. AM New York, of course, likewise, has written Tens of thousands of false stories about how great Mike Bloomberg is, how he's the greatest mayor ever, how everything he does is good, how he's so great, how he's so great, he's not a criminal, he's not a criminal. No, no, he's not a criminal. Now, the date here is September 15th, 2008. Oh, give us a break. Mike promised to curb corporate tax giveaways, yet they've ballooned. Mike Bloomberg promised no corporate welfare. Now, they do things that they almost never do in the media. Look, they present his quote from 2001 and contrast that with his lies today and his actions versus his speech. That's great. Why didn't they, now they knew all these facts seven years ago, six years ago, five years ago, three years ago, two years ago, and one year ago. Why didn't they tell us this before his reelection in 2005? Any ideas? Oh, that's right, this paper got millions of dollars in advertisements because Mike Bloomberg spent more than any human being in office in history to by a local election. $85 million. He spread that money around. Everyone in the media got a million here, a million there. That's just one example. I give you more. Don't get me started. They now say the exact opposite of what they had reported for eight years is true. Now, either this article's a lie and we have to arrest them, or all their previous articles were lies about how he kept all of his promises, blah, blah, blah. Which is it? I say either way, you lied, you admit you lied, that's fraudulent because you lied to your customers in exchange for cash. That's a felony called fraud. Please, people, if you care about the future, if the Nazis were invading your town, would you pick up, would you fight back, or would you just do whatever you're told? Because your time is now. You either do whatever you're told, or you start defending your money, your property, your friends, your family, your freedom.